thing that's been really important this trip is using every bit of the fish that we possibly can that has protein for a handful of hungry kayakers. Paddling these bloody things through the ocean is tiresome work. Coming into camp just as the sun is setting. Thank you very much. Welcome back to another episode of Getting Back to Basics as we continue traveling in ocean kayaks to the northernmost tip of Australia through Cape York Peninsula. The day was set to be seven hours traveling in the kayaks. So with a burning desire to stretch the legs, we took the opportunity to have a hike to the top of these sand dunes. The tide was low, the wind was howling, and it was a good opportunity to stretch the legs, to climb to the top and get rewarded with an incredible view and be able to get a good gauge of where we've been and where we had to go. It was a great vantage point to be able to stand back and gain some perspective at just how remote we were. Pearly white rolling sand dunes formed over endless time. Lined with mangroves, the Pacific Ocean. Five kayaks down there. Absolutely incredible. It's difficult to exaggerate just how fine this sand was. <laughs> <laughs> this is way better coming down than going up, that's for sure. It was the kind of sand that is caught in your face, your hair, and every other part of your body still a month later. That's fantastic. <laughs> My eyes. Snowman. My eyes are just not feeling good. I'm feeling sore. <laughs> But the time had come to jump back in the kayaks and continue what was set to be 40 kilometers worth of paddling or 25 miles to get to our next destination. That was a pretty big day on the water. Solid seven hours with a quick detour. Yeah, we almost covered about 40 k's. Now we're just pulling the yaks up and this is our stop for the next couple of nights, I believe. Served me well today. Served me well. So the sun is setting and the tide is racing in. This is pretty standard of a day kayaking. You get in pretty late, find ourselves a campsite, and wait till the tide to come in before we can drag the kayaks back up to the beach. But we want to make the kayaks a fair bit lighter, so we're going to be here for two nights and we'll set up camp before it gets dark. So far, so good. Big exposed beach. Bit of high ground too, so it's safe, safer from crocs. And over that ridge there is a pretty big river system. So hopefully, it shouldn't be too hard to catch some fish. It was a really likely looking spot. So we grabbed the rods, we grabbed some lures, and we had a good flick around, but wasn't meant to be. Didn't catch any fish, and we let the hunger build till the next day. But fortunately, we got rewarded with a cracking sunset. We've woken up this morning, it's an incoming tide at the camp. Fortunately, we're camping next to the mouth of this river. We've just been throwing live mullet and live garfish. Straight out off this little point as the tide's rushing in. Single hook, no weight. We got breakfast, lunch, and almost dinner sorted. The morning brought with it a really strong incoming tide. A lot of bait fish like your mullet and your garfish, and the bigger predatory fish like your queenfish and your trevally. 
which were being super aggressive and taking just about anything that we threw at them, which was fortunate for us because there was a serious amount of hunger in the camp. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's feeling heavy. Hopefully it's not a shark. Oh, bugger. I think it's a shark. <laughs> See you, mate. Ryan Rossi on the bow, on the flats, searching for big mullet. They're coming back this way. A school of diamond scale mullet had come into the mouth of this river. Now these fish won't take a bait, they won't take a lure, but fortunately, Rossi has been oh, using so a recurve bow since he was 12 years old and had his 52 pound bow rigged up for bow fishing. It's hard to exaggerate just how good of a shot this was with strong wind and a submerged moving target this was really impressive. Oh, oh, oh. oh, mate! And not to mention that fresh diamond scale mullet is just about as good a tucker as you're gonna get. Well done, that was a really good shot. Beauty, eh? Yeah, well done. Oh, yeah. Nice, uh, nice perfect, teamwork there, Perfect buddy. execution. Well done. Oh, good tucker. How good is that? On the bow, off the flats. Rossi just stalked up, whack! Straight through the back. See you, Jacko. See you, mate. <laughs> Quite behave. It was honestly incredible to see the same river system that we fished last night and caught absolutely nothing to this morning, it completely turn on and catch so many fish. Kept a few, released even more, and built up some serious hunger to head back into the shade and have some lunch. One thing that's been really important this trip is using every bit of the fish that we possibly can that has protein for a handful of hungry kayakers. Paddling these bloody things through the ocean is tiresome work. We've got the wings, the finger mark wings, and the mullet wings, with all the fillet there as well. And this mullet was at its fuller row. Look how big those rows are. They're gonna get respected, definitely not wasted. Every meal was very much a team effort. Everyone would get stuck in and take on different jobs, whether it be filleting up the fish, chopping them into small pieces, collecting firewood, or cooking up the fish on the pan. Beautiful queen fish fillet for lunch. We've come into the heat of the day now, and after a hot session on the incoming tide, at the mouth of the river, which is about 100 metres, to the south of our camp. We've come in up into the shade to have some lunch and cook this beautiful fish up. We got one potato, the boys have got some wraps, and we found a handful of onions that were washed up on the beach. Onions keep for weeks, so they must have come off a trawler or some other boat and washed up on the beach, so they're trashy, our treasure. What are we doing at Upping, guys? A bit of flour. Pepper, peri-peri, garlic, salt. Oh my Buddha. That sounds fantastic. A few herbs, spices, coconut flour. We'll roll that up and do it on the, on the coals and a bit of leftover oil from the feed last night. Fresh off the beach this morning. That's so tasty. It's the heat of the day now. So I'm gonna have a feed, lay down under the shade, and try and find a coconut tree this afternoon. I have a little bit of a fish for sunset, but so far, fantastic day.